you know the word bloodlines mean uh, ancestry there's also another meaning you have your throat slit and we have blood line that's one many more but here this these are the predominant uh, themes yeah, there's a little background to it i was teaching in libya for 6 years from 2008 to 2014 i was in sahit academy at the time editing in the which i am doing right now as an emeritus guest editor so there i went uh, when uh, muammar gaddafi was the dictator uh, for two years everything went well there was no problem and then uh, the jasmine revolution came about it was overthrown and libya was in total chaos i was with them with the revolutionaries like uh, Wurzelt was with the French revolutionary in the early days of the revolution. Then about uh, a month into the revolution, we were all evacuated. I came back to India. Then when, after Gaddafi died in uh, October 2011, uh, things were somewhat normal again. And we all were called back to teach in the university. One year went, the, the honeymoon year, went very well. After that, slowly the Islamists uh, began their rampage. And finally in 2014, ISIS, the Islamic State, began to identify people with Christian names and behead them, execution. So I go through luckily but what do i see coming back to india this is for you to now listen bloodlines it's funny isn't it my name gives me a problem named after my paternal grandfather who would have got it from his and he in turn from his a long long chain down the centuries the first one named after a rather fiery apostle of Jesus Christ. Yes, the same Thomas, whose fable landing in Musiris of Kerala coined the dubious term St. Thomas Christians. He himself had a lopsided Hebrew name on which my own sweet sounding Syrian Christian name was built, which later was anglicized into Thomas which is another story altogether. And invariably I began to be taunted, doubting Thomas, and the slur stuck. Seeing it in my bylines, I used to wring my hands, thinking, will it work? Later, Facebook trapped me into taking on my full name, a long tongue twister for any names. Like most of us, I had to swallow it, biting my tongue. I was in trouble again recently owing to my name in an alien milieu where I, had, I, ha, I would have had to face the option of my throat being slit, execution style, or changing my name. Oh no, not in a cynical rhetorical style as we see sometimes here, but to actually keep my head on my neck. The only consoling thought then was, I will return to my Bharat where I can breathe completely free. By the time I settled back here, I grew somewhat clueless. Is it any different here? Does my name shut out, at least in some minds, the several millennia of Bharatiya Sanskriti inherent in me, like in anyone else? Can I keep my name? After all, there's a lot riding on a name. This is the end of uh, the lines. <laughs>